السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome back to a new video and if you're new welcome my name is Ishraq Yassin and in this channel I talk about reminders that can contribute if you make a habit of them to have a peaceful life and be happy inshallah and today's reminder is about warning to you guys my my videos might sound somewhat repetitive because well for one once and twice or three times is not enough that's why they are called reminders i'm reminding myself and, and everybody else and uh, and also um most of what i say here kind of go together so when i'm talking about one specific topic it might remind you of a previous topic i i uh, had touched on so bear with me today what i want to talk about is uh, the importance of having a calm approach to whatever comes in your way whatever life throws at you and whatever you're dealing with so the way i do it is um, as a believer as muslim i believe in qada wa qadar what is written is written and there is no changing in that you cannot change it the only way to to make to make best out of any situation is to appreciate its existence whether it's a difficult situ situation or whether it's a a good what you would see as a good good situation so one remember that what's written is written it's qada wa qadar alhamdulillah appreciation appreciate it it's written uh, and secondly you have established that and you accepted that the situation is a fact and that is where it is ha the hardest most of us struggle with accepting situation for what it is and trying to fight it and the more you fight the more you fight what is written the harder it gets for you it's like that um, chinese thingy chinese um, chinese finger trap the more you wiggle where you it's made of bamboo and you put your finger in it and uh, the trick is how to take out your finger the more you wiggle the harder it gets the more you wiggle the more your finger gets trapped and gets stuck you can look at it from that perspective you can look at it like that Chinese finger trap. What's so uh, fascinating about that toy is when you relax and don't try to wiggle your finger, it releases and you can easily take it out. So when you accept it and not try to fight it, it's easier. So that's one as aspect. So when you have accepted it, whatever it is, all you have to do is live your life because if you have accepted I'm not saying accept any ish anybody throws at you but the things that you can't change that you have to accept that you are struggling with accept it and appreciate them and live your life by being in control and how can you do that it's a gift that you have been given and you should take care of it, cherish it, and you should appreciate it, treat it, it's yourself, treat yourself with compassion. Allow yourself all the good things that you would wish for anybody that you love, anybody you care about. You can't give anybody what you don't have, and they will only treat you the way you treat yourself. So if you treat yourself with love and compassion, and know your worth that is how they are going to treat you as well and the secret is calm calm approach don't get yourself worked up or angry or annoyed hold grudges those things are poisonous for your inner soul for you for your well-being so have that calm approach and every day throughout the day remind yourself the good things how you are happy with yourself 
and how you are proud of yourself and uh, no matter what you have done and no matter what you think you might be doing wrong you know remember that you are valued and you have a value and in terms of sins and stuff like that remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who repent repeatedly repent 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 just just because you have sinned once or twice or three times or million times don't think there's no hope for you and don't think you are worthless and don't think you're you're destined to be a bad person uh, you're not a bad person your actions might be bad but you're not a bad person so repent 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 and repent and most importantly remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remember and you know starting your mornings your day with with meditation and having morning routine is said to be the key to success and the key to happiness and the, to key, the key to having a successful day and and so on and we have that guideline alhamdulillah the fajr prayer has been given an important place and and is rewarded immensely so and whoever wakes up maybe even half an hour before morning prayer and reads quran adhkar, and then prays um surely their their day will be blessed so our meditation is our dhik adhkar and prayer and our morning routine starts with adhkar and quran and prayer and remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and dua we have alhamdulillah guidelines to everything to dis uh, discipline our 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 nafs ourselves in any situation about anger laziness about worry about anything so remind yourself all of those and have faith have faith that everything is going to be okay have faith in yourself and have faith that you have a value and make dua for you may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your life happy and calm and fulfilling life Jum'ah Mubarakah, by the way, today is Jum'ah. Stay calm and love yourself and remember you have value and do not listen to anybody to tell you that you are this or that. Alhamdulillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.